Welcome everyone back to the channel. So I want to preface this by saying it's been a while. It's been like four months, but there's been a lot of things going on. I had shoulder surgery on my left shoulder in June. So been out, uh, haven't worked since January, uh, but we have a lot of things going on. And by the, the title of the video, you see what we're going to start talking about today. Um, this morning we had the dirt work done and I'm about to show you what that was like um, for our barn because we're finally putting a slab in it. Our barn is going to be turning into a shop for us to be able to do our woodworking and all of our projects here on the farm. Um, some more exciting news I should say is the fact that we ordered our sawmill. So, it's a Woodland Mills sawmill. Um, it'll be here, it says it'll be shipped October 31st. So we'll see how long it takes to get here from there. Um, it's a, I can't remember exactly the specifications, but when, when it comes in, we'll go over everything. We'll do a video of putting it together, um, starting it, starting to mill our own wood. Um, and then use that wood that we mill for building things like tables and um, artwork and chests and drawers and all kinds of cool things. I do a lot of painting, which people don't know about, but maybe one day I'll show you all that. And I'll be painting on wood like murals and stuff. So it should be pretty, pretty awesome. Really, really excited about the fact that we got that since one of our most abundant things here are our trees our hardwoods so um if you're new to the channel we don't have that many pine trees or anything like that it's mostly all hardwoods on our property we have 46.8 acres um and if you go off what the government says it's more close to like 50 acres so um it's pretty awesome but like i was saying we had um, our concrete guy come out here this morning and he did dirt work in the barn brought out a big old pile of dirt for us um, over the last week my dad and I actually cleaned out the barn um, moved everything out of it so that we could pour the slab uh, I think the barn's footprint is 40 by 60 so you're looking at what is that 2400 square feet something like that but he came in and did all around the edges, made it level. Um, and we're going to pour tomorrow using um, these motorized uh, wheelbarrows, essentially. Uh, because this part of our, our entrance is messed up. We have to do a video about that. It's a sewage. So, yeah, that's really cool. Um, but there's so many things in here that have to get fixed because it's an old barn and the previous owner didn't take care of it. We've been out here for two years and we're finally getting towards this project. We will be rewiring it for our shop, putting in new lights, fixing all the rotted, um, boards such as that, this corner. This whole corner we're gonna end up taking the, sh the tin off and fixing all the boards and making it sure up so that we can get a building inspector out here so we can get a new meter. So it's pretty awesome. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. Uh, I will record as much as I can of it, but my dad and I are running the, the wheelbarrows like I said. So maybe I'll just set up a, a camera by the, the cement truck and be able to record there but it's going to be so awesome this shop has been in the making for like i said two years now so it's very exciting to be able to take you all along with us on this adventure and we have 434 subscribers now which is awesome since i haven't been regularly posting uh, sorry to everyone who's been wanting new videos had a lot going on like I said it's no excuse but it is an excuse uh, so yeah 
that's what we did today. Everybody, we poured our slab it's finally done um, this is day two after it was poured as you saw we were using those little motorized buggies to pour on this side of the barn um, to, to recap it took eight yards of concrete the slab was four inches thick and it has um, fiber mesh in it so we didn't have to lay down any rebar or uh, any structure underneath it it's monolithic so it's it's strong uh, yesterday they came out and they cut our relief cracks so you can see them right here they're throughout um, the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna get a polymer to fill it after we clean it um, and then go ahead come in here with the tractor in a few days after it's fully cured and start pulling out this old wiring, um, getting an account on our new bo our, our boards that we need so we can make our repairs to the barn. Uh, and then we'll get in some more tin so we can replace where it's all messed up from the previous owner. So all the, this whole sheet over here, all these sheets right here need to be replaced. So we're gonna go ahead and start working on our barn to turn it from a barn into a shop is very very exciting it's finally done um, now we just need to make it make it our own roller it's going to take about 1500 linear feet of romex to uh rewire the barn the way that we want it we're going to have everything laid out all, all of our woodworking tools and like our welder and stuff like that um, so it'll be more efficient so we can get our, our work out. So eventually I'll get a website built or build a website that we can showcase our stuff that we build. And if anybody's interested, when that time comes, you can like buy stuff or whatever if you want. And it's not plugging anything because it's, it's not even made. It's not even a, a thing yet. But when it does, we'll show you our work. We'll make videos of doing our work and uh, be able to share it with you. So, super exciting, I'm very happy. Um, recap, our sawmill is 
we, we ordered our sawmill. It'll be here when it's here. Um, we'll be building a big kind of like shed style building for it out there in a field. So that'll be an awesome few videos. Uh, we'll be building uh, an addition to the house, turning our uh, existing carport into a rec room slash guest room. Uh -huh. So that'll be pretty awesome as well. Today, I'm gonna do a little bit of dirt work probably. Uh, not show it on video, it's Sunday. And then tomorrow, uh, start a new video and have it updated maybe Tuesday or Wednesday this week. So super exciting guys. Thank you so much for um, joining us on our journeys. And uh, thank you for subscribing. Just share and like if you like it. Don't if you don't. Uh, it's just that simple. So see you next time, guys. Thank you.